This Raptor flowchart is on the do-while loop. It's on page 180, and I'm going to pause here and insert a couple of uh, The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put the call statement. This is how we do this to, to call a module. Now, um, okay, okay. When you at, when you put the call procedure in here and then you double click to bring it up, we're going to put in here show commission. You don't have to put the parentheses. Now it's always going to ask you if you wish to create a new tab. Always say yes. And then now s notice we are in our show commission tab. We can go back to main and we see our um, call procedure box to go to show commission. And we're going to go ahead and code this side, the right side of the page first. And like I said, that is our module, our procedure. In our procedure, we want to declare three variables. So that's three assignment boxes. Okay, and now we want to get the input, which is the amount of sales. But notice we always want to declare and initialize our variables first. Um, so we use an input box. Notice here, when you have red down here, it means you're all good. Things are going well when you see the red ink in the um, um, box down here on the bottom. That's usually if you see it come up, say I just start t typing S and it brings it up, you can either double click it, okay, or you can just hit enter. Oops, it didn't work that time, but it's supposed to. <laughs> There. See, just hit enter and it works. Okay. Um, now we want to um, we want to enter our expression. We want to determine the commission rate, which is a mathematical expression calculation, and we use an assignment box to do to do those. Okay, and now we want to tell the user what the commission rate actually is. So that's an output box. And we're going to concatenate the, our, our verbiage or verbiage as well as the ver what is stored, the value stored in the variable commission that we just calculated. Okay, now let's go back to our main tab. Um, let me, that is our show commission module procedure, if you will. Start, we're initializing our variables and putting our constant um, value in our constant variables. We're getting the input amount of sales. We are putting our expression in um, the assignment box to calculate the commission and then we are put, um, outputting um, a statement as and concatenating which is you always use the plus sign um, our variable commission so that the value that we calculated here and that was stored in commission is going to be input after our verbiage
now. Let's um, use our assignment box because we are going to declare our keep going value. Now I'm changing this um, because there is a way to declare a string, but it's a little bit more advanced than what we're ready for right now. So I'm changing this to be a sentinel value. Um, you'll hear that a lot. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to set it to negative 1. We're gonna, our name is going to be keep going. And we're going to set it here to 0. And when we, we're going to tell the user eventually that when they enter a negative 1 um, to exit the program, the program will exit. Otherwise, just keep entering a 0 to keep going. Okay, we want to put in our loop, and we're going to put it right here. Now we're going to um, we're going to put in our exit value, our exit condition, and that is where we're going to put into our sentinel value. So our exit condition is if keep going. Um, is equal to negative 1, that's when we want to exit. We've moved our show commission um, procedure call or module call box and we are now we're going to combine our pseudocode statements into one and have one input box and all those pseudocode statements are going to be our prompt. Okay, so then we're, there we have our loop. <coughs> our sentinel value is negative 1. Um, if the user enters a negative 1, then the program will end. Uh, we call our show commission module. And then we return. When that's finished, it returns here to the very next line which says, do you want to calculate another commission? Enter zero if so. If it does, it will go through the loop. Is keep going zero uh, or negative one? No. So it will continue to show, call the show commission module. Okay, so let's save. And um, scale down so we can see it all. Maybe not quite that. And let's run. Now you notice it. Now you notice, um, over on the master console, we can bring this over here. Actually, um, we know that it's calculating the commission and putting it up here. Now on this side, this is called the watch window, and as it goes through, you can see what is being put into the variables. So let's enter negative one this time. it ends.